Yo, what is up guys, Zorin here with another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC video. So, today we are bringing you a Lunala team by our good friend Aquamoth aka Odin. But it's not just a Lunala team, it is a Snorlax team because it also has the fat man himself, the biggest boy and the goodest boy, Snorlax. Alright, well, this Snorlax is Assault Vested with Thick Fat, if you guys don't know what Thick Fat does, it basically cuts the damage from fire and ice moves i'm pretty sure it's ice moves fire and ice moves by 50 percent so fire and ice pretty much don't do much to this snorlax especially if it's coming from the special side thanks to that assault vest and this thing is running facade high horsepower crunch and heavy slam facade is really nice in case you get burned you can still do a lot of damage thanks to facade since if you're burned or poisoned or paralyzed or well technically sleep but you would need like sleep talk facade will be boosted in damage i think it like doubles its damage so i think it's 70 and then it goes to that up to like 140 it's pretty ridiculous then we got lunala here with moon guys beam moon blast calm mind protect a nice standard calm mindset for this lunala with the fairy terra we've got pelipper here to also reduce that fire damage even further on the snorlax thanks to the drizzle and it's carrying the most standard stuff with white guard tailwind weather ball hurricane but this one also has the ground terra well, i guess i shouldn't say this one because i like running ground terra on mines too we got king gambit as, as well here with the fairy terra and it's running safety goggles in case you run into those amunguses and this one has swords then sucker punch kowtow cleave and protect standards as well with the uh two dark moves no no steel moves uh, hopefully we don't run too, into too many fairies <laughs> and then we've got rillaboom with Grassy Glide, Woodhammer, U-Turn, High Horsepower with the Choice Band instead because the Assault Vest is on the Fat Man himself and Urshifu as well with the Choice Scarf uh, running um, Surging Strike, Ice Spinner, Close Combat, U-Turn so set some standard stuff here but this one actually carries Grass Terra to just to be a little bit more on the defensive side well that's gonna be the team hopefully you guys enjoy it uh, we'll see if Fat Man can do anything in this regulation uh, thank you, thank you Odin for the team if you guys want to try out the team, the, te the description will have the Poke Paste and the Rental for you guys to try out the team. As always, guys, make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment. I know you guys are watching this, this video. I know you guys are watching continuously and not subscribing. So please, please, please just do me a favor. Just make sure you're subscribed. If you aren't already, you guys are enjoying the content, just please. It helps. It helps. It means that other people will come and watch my videos and I need those views. I need that money. How am I also gonna, am I going to make that chicken nugget mug it? Mug it. I said mug it. How else am I going to make that chicken nugget money? Mug it. <laughs> All right. Anyways, let's get straight into it and see what this uh, team can do. All right. And the first thing we fight is a Shadow Rider. <laughs> but we have Gordito and Gordito kind of likes that. Hmm. Wait, hold up. Gordito is okay here. I would think. Gordita's actually okay here. It's just the Urshifu. The Urshifu is the only thing that I'm kind of worried about. What's hilarious is I, I, I might even leave Nebby in the back. I might. Because Gordita looks good. King Gamma looks really good here too. Do we... King Gambit's actually really good here too, that's the thing. Uh, I guess not, because then I, I'm, I'm worried about Urshifu here. I'm really worried about Urshifu here. I'm going to go with these four in the, and see what happens. Gordito's actually kind of nice in the in the front, that's why. We do have Heavy Slam on, the, on Gordito, so... Gordito can maybe pull something off here for us. I kind of have to rely on Gordito though to get some stuff done because I need to I actually need to uh, do something here. Oh, that's that's not what I wanted to see but okay that's actually not what I wanted to see oh but start it's oh, no but even even if it is darker she feels that's pretty bad uh
Yikes. I brought the ah, uh, I guess you know King Gambit would have been bad either in this in this situation. Ortiz is not gonna enjoy this. I'm just gonna surging strikes, I guess. I don't think this KOs though. If I went Rillaboom first, that would have been okay. Not really, he would have just detected. It's not enough, no. Probably just Horniches just here. Yep. There goes Urshifu, okay. I can't Terra. Uh, that's that's an issue. I can't Terra because of the Stark Shifu. Uh, I I don't see how we win. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'll be honest. I don't. Oh no, Odin! You don't have Fake Out on this. I completely forgot. Oh, I lost hard. You don't have you don't have fake out. Yeah. Yikes. Uh. Yikes. I don't have fake out. I was actually gonna try and calm mine and get something done. He might just attack. I honestly don't see why he wouldn't. Okay. Double double protect, right? Yep. There it is. <sighs> okay. How do I get out of this? I kind of had to attack because if I don't attack and they just straight bullet my thing, what do I do? I don't see how we get out of this. Ah, I, don't, I don't see how we win. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Is Rillaboom faster than the uh, thingy? I think it matters. It went for Sucker Punch though. Ah, uh, he is faster. That's actually unfortunate. That's super unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. Rillaboom is faster here than Lunala. Because I kind of need Lunala to be slower than Rillaboom. That would have KO'd. That would have been a KO on Ogre Pond. I don't know the damage on Grassy Glide. All I know is. I need a moon blast this. I think I, I could have calmed mind that turn that they doubled it, but if I I was just scared that they would just go and attack. I felt like going for calm mind, but I was like, uh they might just go for that and then just KO me. That is ghost though. I thought it would be um Terra Terra Fairy. There's that again. I wonder why he's going for that though. Oh, 
problem is, how do I deal with this Urshifu? That's uh, not enough. I need Fatman to, to, to take a close combat. I really needed to take a close combat here. Because if it doesn't, we just lose flat out. Yeah, we're just going to do this just so it doesn't take... You need to take one close combat here, and even then, they still have one entire Pokemon in the back. Yeah. Oh, okay, you could take one. That's all we needed. Kinda. <laughs> Kinda. Not really. We needed more than that, actually. Because I need a double protect. We don't get it. Yeah, it's GG. I don't know how else I was gonna win this one. That Urshifu and Shadow and Dark Dark Shifu and Shadow Rider. So that made it even more clear that I had to like make Lunala uh we're just slow, we're too slow. We don't do anything. We can't protect because Urshifu's ability is too broken. We're gonna be taking a loss. Right at the beginning of the of the, of the video. Yeah, Urshifu, Urshifu just covers them too well. We don't have no fake out. Fake out would have been great. Vika would have been absolutely great here. Vika would have been absolutely fantastic. Also, if Lunala was just faster than Rillaboom, I mean, Lunala was slower than Rillaboom, this would have been easier too. Like if Lunala was slower, we would have been fine too, because then Moonblast would have gone into the Urshifu. But it is what it is. What can we do? Alright, GG. Okay, well, well There's another Urshifu. I'm already kind of um I'm already kind of scared of running this team against any Urshifu. <laughs> I'm actually terrified of running Urshifu now. Uh, this because if that's a Dark Shifu, that we're gonna have trouble again. Dark Shifu specifically is the one that kind of gives me trouble with this team. Hmm. I can see me doing this first. Bring the Gordito on the back. I'm just bringing Nebby. Hmm. I don't see why not. I don't see any reason to bring Urshifu here. Jade wouldn't bet bad either. I think this is just a play. I don't think we want to go for Grassy Clights because we are banded. We are banded. So I don't know if I want to do that. What can what can what can uh, Snorlax even do here? Is the, is the bigger question, right? It is indeed that Shifu, though, which is nice. Oh, but if it's Sash, I'm gonna be upset. <laughs> if it's Sash, we are absolutely upset here. 
We are Fairy Terra. I don't know if we want to do that though. Do they have a priority blocker? They do. I can't even go into Snorlax. Snorlax shares the same freaking issue that King Gambit has, so I can't even do that. Okay, hold on. That is true, I can't. I'll go for the Grassy Glide, who cares? Let's just hope this is a Choice Scarf one. I really don't think it is. I think it's a Sash one. I really do think it's a Sash one. The fact that I have to get rid of my, my Steel Typing though is kind of rough. It's Grass Terra, okay. I need to get rid of this thing. Okay, this Scarf, okay. Nice. We didn't even have to Terra. <laughs> we didn't have to Terra, but I did. Because if it was Sash, we lose. But like, we lose our King Gambit, and King Gambit is like our one, like our biggest carry on this team. Nice, okay. He gave me, he gave me the Trick Room too, that's, that's huge. That's actually huge. <laughs> That's big, that's big. I didn't think he would go for a Glacial there. Okay. That's fine. We're actually in a very good spot here. I'm gonna go for Kowtow here. Grassy Glide into this as well. No, I don't think I want to. Uh, this is a perfect time for, the, for the Fat Man to come out. Batman's just gonna take just take a hit. Why would he, why would he spore that side? He just knew I, go, I guess I was gonna switch. I mean, Snorlax doesn't care. He, he likes sleeping. That's like his whole thing. Okay. Take this plus two for me. Nice. Wait, I'm slower. <sighs> I'm faster than than. Uh, Kwamas, what's going on? Why are we slower than... Why are we slower? Under Trick Room? Brother, is this not zero IV? It's adamant. Oh man, you should have made this thing slower than, than Horse Rider. That would have made the most sense. You would have had something to deal with this ugly abomination. Oh no! I I, I was here, here assuming that King Gambit was our 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 writer counter. He's not. He's not our writer counter. That's actually depressing. It's extremely depressing. That's a zero IV um, horse rider. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Not being slow slower is crazy. Because Snorlax and King Gamma should be our 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 trick room counters, but King Gamma doesn't mean that. I'm going for a sucker punch. He might go for Protect. I mean, he has to go for Protect. He can't Pollen Puff himself if he goes for Protect, though. Oh, man, that's so rough. Yeah. He has Sword Dance or something? Don't tell me he has Sword Dance. Oh, God. Snorlax is absolutely doing nothing. Why would you? Why would you? I mean, I just do this now.
Like, I get it. You wanted to avoid... I'm so confused. I mean, you're gonna take this at least. You're not gonna be very happy with that. Or that. Yeah, Fat Man isn't doing anything here though. I'll be honest. It's not doing anything here. I actually needed it to go away. I actually need him to like just disappear. He probably just pollen puffs that side now. Which if he does, then I guess the, my best play is actually to go for Source Sense again. Cause he can Pollen Puff. Yeah, that's, that's, his, that's his play. Has to be his play. Can we switch out here? Can we go into Lunala? No, I don't want to go into Lunala. If he doesn't, then oh well. Yup, that is his play. Got it. That's why I was like, keep, he's, he's gonna Pollen Puff again. He can't spawn me, that's why. Can't spawn me. I just don't have a switch out. He'll just spawn me again. <sighs> Plus four sucker punch isn't gonna be enough. Oh boy, I don't know what we're gonna do though. He's just gonna spam Fallen Puff. Dude, Snorlax is actually being a hindrance right now. I need it to go down. It's an absolute hindrance here. It doesn't do anything for me. That's not enough. Up oh, there's that. I don't see me winning this. Like, at all. Snorlax, you are actually useless! <laughs> Absolutely useless. My only hope now... And it's not really a lot of hope either. I don't, I don't have hope at all in this right now. I actually don't see how I win. King Gambit being slow, faster than... Horse Rider is actually the issue here. It's the biggest issue we have. It's just a hindrance. Ah, we just lose. Second loss with, with, with the Snorlax doing absolutely nothing for us. And just not being faster than Horse Rider under Trick Room was the biggest mistake. Because you have so so here's here's my issue with this King Gambit. It's literally there to counter Amoongus. But you know what 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 plays with Amoongus? Ice Rider. I know what you wanna be outspeeding under Trick Room that's going to put it up, 
Ice Rider. So it's like I can't do anything. I just lose. He puts me to sleep, and then what else? What do I do? Like my only hope was to probably maybe go into Lunala on the on the turn that he he went for Pollen Puff Trick Room. I think because I think Lunala would have maybe done it with with the with the King Gamut to take it out because otherwise his his best play is to just um spore. Cause yeah, so far Snorlax is not doing anything for me. That's for sure. No, I don't, I don't feel like we played it wrong. It's just. The, the only one that I think we played around was not switching into Lanala. Because Snorlax was absolutely useless here. I think if I if I switched into Lanala, I might have had a shot. But so far, Lu Snorlax has been absolutely useless. And King Gambit being faster was the icing of the cake of this team. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. I was super confident in, 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 in King Gambit being our, our Trick Room counter. Well, that's good to know against other Ice Riders, I guess. Okay, well... I am not looking forward to playing a third game with this team already. I am not. There is a Wolchen on the enemy team, too. This thing has White Guard, right? Yeah. Hmm. What do we bring here? Good question. What do we bring here? If that thing has foul play, we're kind of screwed. I think Wolchen comes out in this team at two. It's going to be like Wolchen and Cinderor. I swear to God, it has to be. Because either Wolchen and Cinderor or Wolchen... Or in Cinderor or Grimmsnarl, but Wolchen's definitely coming into this game. There's a, there's no way it's not. It looks so good into my team. You just have to worry about like U-turns, that's really it. And Wolchen kind of like just sits there and murders us. And again, what does Gordito do? Nothing. <laughs> what does it do? There's, there, there's something that like ruins it like even more now. I don't know what I'm doing at this point. <laughs> I kind of needed the white guard, but I didn't have room. I have room for it. I just don't know what to do in this in this situation because we're just gonna get fake fake out. We don't have fake out because if we had fake out, I would just go call mine fake out. You know. Yeah, this this works too for them. This works out too for them. Okay, I'm just gonna go for surging strikes. Let's not think about it. I go for um Grassy Glide. Or Woodhammer. Woodhammer works too, honestly. Uh I want to see how much Grassy Glide does to this thing. Oh, he is going to Terra. Which one though? Is it Grass Terra as well? No. It's going for Ghost Terra just to get... Just so I don't fake it out. I don't have Fake Out though, so that's okay. No, oh, that almost KO'd even with the thing. That would have been big if we, we KO'd though. He's probably going for Flare Blitz then. That's still really good damage into the Yershifu, honestly. There's Wolchen, yeah. There it is! That ruins my attack as well. This is not gonna do anything now. Oh, it's got Will-O-Wisp. Rillaboom, okay. Ah, uh, okay. 
Being, being locked is, is, is a problem here. <laughs> what do I do? I mean, at this point... No, I kind of want the U-turns, though. Yeah, I'm switching into both of them. Never you're okay. All right, I'll take it. He 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 missed the Willow Wisp. Uh, seriously, is is this how we're gonna get a win with Snorlax? We're gonna get a win because they missed the Willow because they they got RNG. Okay. All right. Well, here comes the the Trick Room team, and we have no way to stop it again. <laughs> oh boy, here we go again. I think my only my only thing is I have to bring Pelipper then. Snorlax is actually useless, like it's absolutely useless. It doesn't do anything for me. But I have to bring it, because it's, it's video. But it's absolutely useless. Because now that I know that King Gambit isn't a Trick Room on, I can't beat. Because I'm. What is. Oh, you know what? Hold up, hold up. No, maybe I'm just being upset, but. And I'm forgetting King Gambit's speed here. It is 50. It's the same as um, the horse, but because it's not going to. Yeah, it's not going to outspeed. Damn. What do I do here? I'm not bringing the the, the fat man. I kind of want to try and win, so I'm 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 not bringing Snorlax this time. <laughs> I'm not bringing the Snorlax this time. It doesn't do anything. It, do, it does absolutely nothing. If this was the belly drum set, I, I probably would have been more comfortable with it, but... With it being a soul vest and then we're just running into physical attackers, it's absolutely useless. And the only time we had a chance with it, they had an Urshifu that completely nullifies this team. That Dark Shifu literally stops N Nebi, it stops King Gamut, it stops Snorlax. It stops everything that you kind of need. On this team. Although it isn't... Okay. He might just... What do we do? I guess you turn out. Sinner kind of ruins it too. I'm sorry if you guys hear any background noise right now. Some, something just activated or the car, and my dog's going absolutely haywire because of it. So that's funny. Um. Oh my God! No way! Please, for the love of God, don't be doing this. Can you not? Like, Jesus Christ! I did, I thought I had notifications off on Steam. Oh, this is so bad. Yo, I... Yo, this team carries so many weaknesses to the same thing. <laughs> oh, shoot. That's something I just realized. This team carries a lot of weaknesses that this, of the same thing, basically. I have to Terra here. How do we deal with uh, Urshifu? <laughs> I mean, with with, with Incineroar. Maybe we should have went into this instead. Probably. Yeah, we probably should have went into that. 
Like, what do we do here? Oh, oops. No, he went into Among Us. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what to do here. Sarnax has to just sit there and does nothing. Oh, he could burn me. I just went for parting shot. Okay. All right. Well, round two of um of what happened last time. But we're gonna go for like Moon Guys. We went to something right now. He's not gonna be happy with this. That's for sure. He ain't gonna be happy with this one. Yep. Target acquired. Oh, never mind. It went for the. It went for what's right in front of it. Never mind. If it weren't for Moon Guy Beast on the on the Calyrex, that would have been hilarious. Okay, there is a play here though, and it's called Kaltal Cleave into this and protect. That is the play here. And I was gonna Terra into what? Ice. This one goes flat out in for that, okay. Oh. Yeah, we lost, okay. This one has clear smog, fantastic. Fantastico. This one has Cure Smog, okay. Now we do no damage. Okie dokie. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we lose. <laughs> There's nothing we can do. This one had Cure Smog. Alright. Alright, well. Let's just get on out of here. Zero wins. We're going to be taking no wins with this team. All right. Well, GG. All right. Well, <laughs> what can I say? We, we didn't do anything with this team. We couldn't. We couldn't do anything. We have too many too many uh, weaknesses to cover on this team. Too many. Like King Gambit, Snorlax will not kind of carry, like get, get destroyed by Dark Shifu right off the, right the get-go. We just get destroyed. And then Amoongus had clear smog. And that was our only out was to deal with... um. King Gambit was the only way our, we're gonna deal with that um, dude right off there. So it was just like, what do we do? Like everything on this team kind of just gets destroyed by the Shadow Riders. The Riders, the Riders destroy this team. Like sure, you have White Guard, but it's like they 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 carry Incineroar, they carry Spore, they carry Spore. So what do you do? King Gambit isn't fast enough to do, like slow enough to deal with the uh, with the with the Ice Rider either. So at this point, it's just like, there's just no hope. There's absolutely no hope. And King Emmett is base 50 as well. So there's there's no, there's no a speed tie, even if it was, even if we're zero IV, it's a speed tie. So we, I mean, it's still, it's I'd rather still try to deal with the speed tie because not every horse rider might be zero IV. So you can actually kind of maybe hope to win that. But I mean, what what do we do against Ice Rider? Besides bring Pelipper. And we're bringing Pelipper, we can't bring Snorlax. Because Rillaboom was really, really big there too. Like, we really needed Rillaboom in case he brought Urshifus. Because if it's a water Urshifu, we can just deal with it with the Rillaboom and be fine. So that's kind of why we needed Rillaboom the first game, for example. Snorlax just doesn't cut it. It just doesn't cut it. it not, in, not in this meta. Not in this meta. At least the thing that it, it probably deals with is like Maridon Kyogres. Like any other special attacker, Shadow Rider and and Ice Rider both just slap it because Shadow Rider just carries Urshifu uh, too many counters to this team. So, oh well, that that that's that is what it is. I'm not gonna like like look for like 
games that where the, the Snorlax will do really well because I don't have time. I, I really don't. It's like just just these these matches alone took me about about an hour just to find. So yeah, I'd rather I'd rather just stick with it. Just show you guys that Snorlax just doesn't work into Shadow Rider and Ice Rider, which is the two biggest threats next to Maridon. And if that's the case, then oh well, I guess it just doesn't work. This team is really anti um, Maridon. If you, if you look at it, it is. And we did run into it because think of it: Pelipper's Ground Terra, Snorlax doesn't care about special attacks. Rillaboom counters its its terrain. Urshifu does uh, can also like hit it with ice and turn into grass. King Gambit doesn't care. Lunala doesn't care once it puts up a calm mind. It's really just I needed to find Maridons. That this that's what this team is, is screaming. Find my ride-ons, or uh, and you'll be fine. That's, that's pretty much what this team screams. And these guys, oh well, sorry, sorry, Aquamoth, I can't, I couldn't make your Snorlax work. It's just, it was just too much. All right, well, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.